Do you have low self-esteem? Your self-esteem is a culmination of your physical self-image, accomplishments, capabilities, and perceived success. In short, it's your opinion of yourself. Some of us are blessed to have an environment that fosters high self-esteem. Well, some of us are not so fortunate, but despite unfortunate circumstances or events, you can actually cultivate high self-esteem. Think of the protagonist who had a difficult childhood like me or a rough start in life. Despite the trials they faced, they were able to forge ahead fully. These tips can help you believe in yourself again. Welcome back to my channel. We'll explore six powerful daily habits that, that will boost your confidence and improve your self-esteem. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one, stop comparing yourself to others. Sometimes comparisons can be helpful. Using them as a template for improvement can inspire you to make changes. But then again, Sometimes they are a way for you to deconstruct yourself and discover all the things that you think are wrong with you. According to an article in Psychology Today, written by a physician, Dr. Bali, we can remind ourselves that people's outsides can be compared to our insides. By that I mean, our inner selves cannot be compared to the appearances of others. This is because people can curate their social media versions of their lives and they can do the same with their public lives. Number two habit is overcoming perfectionism. I know, I know you're just trying to do your best and work hard to achieve your goals, but how can we know if we've crossed the line? Have you been experiencing signs of procrastination, restlessness, being motivated by fear and especially low self-esteem? Well, these are signs of a perfectionist. Despite what social media tries to portray as a perfect life, creating one for yourself can lead to maladaptive rumination and deterioration of mental health. Instead of achieving more, you may undergo more setbacks than you desire. According to Oregon Counseling, we can take steps to overcome perfectionism through tendency awareness, allowing room for mistakes, focusing on meaning over perfectionism, and setting reasonable goals for ourselves. Habit number three, embrace positive affirmations. Affirmations are like seeds of self-belief that you plant in your mind. They have the power to transform your thoughts and boost your confidence. Repeat affirmations such as, I am worthy, I am capable, and I am enough to yourself every blessed day. Embrace them with conviction and what has to be shape your self-perception. Number four habit is figure out what you're good at and develop it. How do your abilities and self-esteem go hand in hand? Your sense of purpose will increase when that happens. Your self-esteem grows when you demonstrate to yourself your abilities and competencies. When you gain deeper fulfillment and inspire others around you, you can improve your self-esteem. So, how do you identify your abilities? Try listing down what you love doing in your previous accomplishments. It can be daily blogging, baking, cooking, or even science ex experiments that you did at the science fair. Diving into activities that allow you to show off or discover your talent is a start to figuring out your strengths, which brings you confidence and purpose in life. So, tell us what you do enjoy doing most in your life. Come on, don't be shy. Let's hear it out in the comment section below. Habit number five, focus on what you can change and the things that are in your control. Dwelling on your worries can be a potent poison that whistles down your resolve. It can trap you in an illusion that makes you believe that progress or anything remotely positive is just impossible. Instead of focusing on those negative thoughts, try focusing on what you can change. Forget about what you cannot change because it will set you back. One way to overcome this is to label your thoughts as productive worry and unproductive worry. To see things from a clearer perspective, when you know the difference between productive and unproductive worrying, you can start to manage your worries, which eventually helps you feel more confident in yourself, your choice, and your abilities. So, what difference, you may ask? Well, to keep it simple, unproductive worry imagines all sorts of unlikely outcomes and focuses on the what ifs and worst case scenarios without any clear solutions. While productive worry helps you solve a problem or resolve a situation and explore appropriate ways to finding solutions to those problems. Now, habit number six, cultivate a growth mindset. Embracing a growth mindset is vital for improving self-esteem. Instead of viewing challenges as roadblocks, see them as opportunities. 
for growth and learning. Believe in your abilities to develop new skills and overcome obstacles. Remember, every setback is a stepping stone towards personal growth and success. Now, do you think you'll try some of these tips? Remember, baby steps are the way to go. It may seem scary to start, but just remember to be kind to yourself and let yourself make mistakes along the way. Self-esteem is necessary to move forward in life. The moment you stop believing in yourself, you abandon hope of success. So, please do not give up on yourself. If you struggle with your self-esteem, I encourage you to seek professional help. Building self-esteem is a journey that requires consistent effort and practice. Start incorporating these habits into your daily life one step at a time. Believe in yourself and your ability to grow and evolve. You deserve to have unshakable confidence and a strong sense of self-worth. It's a big deal and you deserve to believe in yourself. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Share with your friends that might find insight in it too. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Also, do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you do not miss out on any video. Thank you.